I'm Courtney Murphy, Denver Metro Realtor, and today I'm here to talk to you about the importance of good real estate photography. Where do you think most people look for homes? Yeah, on the internet, of course. You do it, everybody does it. And it's so important that the photos of your home look good. Good lighting, good definition, straight, not crooked. And I'm sure when you hire a realtor to sell your home, you assume that they're gonna hire a professional photographer. However, this is not always the case. Your realtor may be great at selling homes, but they're probably not the best photographer. So I would expect nothing less than a realtor who takes professional photographs of your home. It can make all the difference in the world at the amount of traffic you're getting through your house, which equates to more offers, which means more money. So be sure when you sell your home that your realtor is going to hire a professional photographer. I got a book from my sister-in-law for Christmas a couple years ago. It's called Terrible Real Estate Agent Photos. It's pretty funny. Unfortunately, you wouldn't have to look too long to find enough photos to fill this book. Last month, I wrote a blog about the importance of real estate photos and decided obviously to make a video about it. But all I had to do was look at one day's worth of listings here in the Denver area and I couldn't believe how many horrible pictures I found. And I looked on I think a Monday or Tuesday and Monday and Tuesdays are not big listing days, but it didn't take me long to find horrible photographs. Let me take you to my computer so I can show you what I mean. Okay, I'm at my computer looking at MLS pictures. And let's take a look at this first one. The thing that I noticed first is that it's crooked, which you see in so many do-it-yourselfer real estate photos. Crooked pictures. So as you can see, the floor and everything is sliding towards the couch. The lighting isn't so bad. It's not perfect, but it's not so bad. But do you see what I see up in the top right corner? Take a look. What is that dark space right at the top? You're going to notice as we flip through the photos of this home that that dark cloud is in every photo. Makes it seem a little scary, actually. Same thing, this picture is another one that's a little bit crooked, and that dark ghost in the top right is there again. Another crooked picture, dark ghost. Same thing with this one. We're still in the same house there here, and this one just baffles me. Not only is it nowhere near being straight, you're not even sure exactly what you're looking at. I'm assuming it's a shower, but there's no indication that this is the case. And also, typically when you're selling a home, you want to highlight features. I have no idea when this tile was installed, but I don't, I think it's probably been several decades because I don't, I, I haven't seen any tile like this in Home Depot recently. The lighting's just off. I mean, the, all the sides of the pictures just look dark on this one. And here, I don't know, this bedroom, you could do something with some good photos, but it looks a little scary for me, and maybe part of that is the dark cloud again in the right corner. Here we are, bedroom, once again, crooked. The room looks very small and the dark cloudy ghost in the top right corner. One more photo from this house, another bedroom, once again, very, very crooked. Wouldn't want to sleep on that bed. And the ghost is saying hello to, again in the top right corner. Okay, let's move on to another house. On this one, you can tell that this is a higher end house, however, Look at how the light is drowning out 
the definition and the picture and the colors and I imagine those wood floors are pretty beautiful but you really can't see them very well at all with the light coming in whereas a professional photographer would have known how to deal with the light and get this picture to really pop. I'm thinking by the shape of this picture that it was probably taken with the phone which in my opinion is a big no-no. All right, we're gonna do another house here. This one, again, I think you can tell it's probably a really nice house. Uh, you can tell that these pictures, once again, are crooked. Not very helpful. Also, it's a little bit dark. The definition's not so great in this picture. This is the same house. We're going to do a few of this house. I think this kitchen with the right lighting would really look great. However, it just looks dark. Here's a bathroom in that same house. Again, it just looks, everything looks dark in this house. And people don't like dark houses. How about this for an office? This looks like the kind of place I want to spend my day to do my work. Some, a little dark dungeon is what it looks like. back into the main living area. Again, actually, if if it wasn't for the lighting, I don't think the, the setup of this picture is so bad. It's giving you an idea of the layout, but the lighting is not so good. The definition is not very good at all. Here too, just horrible lighting. Okay, let's move on to another house. This picture, I'm just not sure, is necessary. You can see the notes at the bottom say custom shutters. However, there were other pictures of this home um, in the mix, and you could see the shutters without one single picture of the shutters here. This is the same home. Once again, you can tell that the picture is crooked, and we're only seeing just a small little corner of the room. Professional photographers typically have wide angle lenses, which comes in really handy when you're taking real estate photography. That way you can stand back and capture a whole picture of a room instead of just a little corner because you really can't see much about this room. You have no idea how big it is. Look at how much floor you can see. This one's in the same house too, and this looks like it's actually a pretty nice bathroom. Not a great picture though. Look how the lights really have a glow on them. A professional photographer would have that under control and you would be able to see a lot more definition. And once, like I said, this one's obviously crooked as well. Moving on to another home. This home was actually listed at over $800,000. So I would imagine that this realtor was making a pretty nice commission off the sale of this home and decided for some reason or another not to hire a professional photographer. So this picture right out of the gate, I think the realtor probably thought it looked kind of artistic maybe to look through this arched doorway into the living room area. However, I don't think they were successful with it. First of all, it is crooked and it's just not very well done. Here's the kitchen in that same house. Once again, you can tell this is probably a gorgeous home with a beautiful kitchen. However, look how dark it looks. These pictures do it no justice whatsoever. Here's another picture from the same home. Once again, it is way too dark. It's a little bit crooked, and I'm not sure why they didn't pick up the big piece of plastic that's sitting in the middle of the room. Here's another home. This picture is not so bad. Uh, however, you can once again see that it's crooked. That's such a big problem with do-it-yourself photographers is getting the picture straight. This one's crooked again. It's the definition is not very good. The kitchen would have looked brilliant with some professional pictures. On to another house. This one you can see has a small kitchen with the uh, do-it-yourself real estate photographer 
was not that good at finding a good angle to take the picture of this kitchen to display it in a, a better way. One that would actually attract buyers to come. Not only that, if this was if I was selling this home, I would have had the seller take the clutter off of the countertops. Clutter never helps in pictures. This picture is of the same house and when I saw this picture, my thought was, how hard would it have been to pick the ball up off the floor? So I see these pictures and I just laugh. I swear I don't get it. And not only that, you could have shown so much more of the room. This is such a, this picture is so limiting. And that's what, on, on the pictures of these this home in particular, that's what I noticed in all the pictures, is they weren't great pictures of a whole area. Next picture. The first thing that I think is why is the shower curtain closed? First of all, opening it up would make the bathroom look bigger. And I wonder what are you hiding behind there? You want to show as much of the house as possible in, in your picture, so why have that shower curtain closed? And the other thing that I noticed is look in the mirror. Oh yeah, someone is taking the pictures with a phone. <laughs> Next picture. This one's really not so bad. Uh, the definition could definitely better be better, but you know, it's not the worst picture I ever have seen until you look here. Oh, got the thumb in the picture. You know, this is fine for your family photo album. However, if I were listing my house on the internet or on 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 the MLS, I sure I sure wouldn't want the the finger in the picture effect. This picture just made me say why. I have no idea what it was. There's no description of what I'm looking at, why it's a selling point of the home. I, I I'm not sure what was going through the realtor's mind who decided that this was an important picture to display um, online of this home. This is my last picture of bad real estate photography and this one here again would have benefited greatly from a wide angle lens. I'm not sure how small this bedroom is but look at how much floor space was captured in the picture. You're not getting a, to see very much of the room here. Now I want to show you some examples of what real estate pictures should look like. This was a listing that I had last year and when I sell a home I don't take pictures with my phone or my iPad. I hire a professional photographer. Look how much nicer these pictures look than the ones that I was showing you. And who, what house do you think is going to get more showings? Okay, so now you see what I'm talking about. You can tell the difference between horrible real estate photos and quality real estate photos. And it makes all the difference in the world when you're selling your house. So if you are selling your house, don't let yourself be a victim of bad real estate photography. And if you're looking for a good real estate agent that you know will provide top quality service, including great pictures of your home, be sure to give me a call. I'd love to work with you and I promise to give you nothing but the best, highest quality service.